Hey everyone, my name is Robin Seckler. I'm the VP of Partnerships here at Good Trust, where we offer online estate planning as an employee benefit. And I'm joined with Hasina Anderson. Hasina, will you take a minute and say hello? Just do a quick intro. Yes, hello. Thank you, Robin, for having me. I'm Hasina Anderson, VP of Employee Benefits at USI. I'm a benefits consultant. I started in HR did a little bit of workers' comp and circle back to employee benefits where it can bridge both uh, worlds together. I love that. Thank you for joining me today. I'm super excited about our conversation for two reasons. Number one, I just always enjoy chatting with you. We always have a <laughs> And, you know, number always. two, we're, we're here to talk about National Employee Benefits Day. And mm -hmm. you, my friend, are a rock star in this space. So I'm looking forward to getting some of your insights on, you know, where we are today and maybe a little bit about where we're headed. Awesome. No, thank you for that, Robin. And you're, you're right. It's always a good time. So ready to dive in. I love it. I mean, anybody who spends time around you knows that, that right away, you are very passionate about what you do. And you know that it's important to get the right benefits to the right people. Why is that so important to you? Yeah, oh, it's very important. I'm in the business of storytelling is how I really look at it. It's really important to get the message out. I feel that easily we all just think about benefits and open enrollment, and then you just kind of sit there and you just pick at what you think is correct. But uh, it really is a method to the madness. And so I want to help, you know, peel, off, peel away those layers and help uh, everyone to understand that Benefits is really just telling a story about your culture and your people. So do you have the right benefits in place to tell that story? I love that. I come from a long line of family storytelling. And so I think this all just, you know, goes together so nicely and, and it helps you to tell your own story when you have the benefits that are meaningful to you. Absolutely. No, it's um, one of those things where, you know, it doesn't hit you until you're in it. And so now you have your reason of like, wait, wait a minute. For example, I had um, a client that uh, took their child to the doctor and they weren't expecting it, but you know what? There's a diagnosis of hearing loss and went to try to go get hearing aids and benefits package didn't offer it for children for some reason. So part of her story is, hey, I need to make sure my child has access to hearing aids. How do we make sure that happens in the future? Yeah, you made a good point. Sometimes you don't know about that until you experience it for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You spend a lot of time in the field having these conversations with employees and employers and really understanding what people are asking for. I'm so curious about what kind of things people are looking for today. Oh, yes. yes. When we talk about the trends, really, at the end of the day, right? Uh, so folks are really looking for a way to get out of financial, what we would call our financial journey. Um, how do we enhance it? How do we bring more education to it? Uh, right now, I think just the way the market works, it's the same on our side. And the healthcare expenses are are very costly. So Right now, it's just really trying to figure out ways or access to get health care um, without breaking the bank, so to speak. And I think that you'd probably agree, but people would most likely want to have some sort of say in what kind of benefits either that they're offered or that, that they have access to. How can we all work together to make sure that we are hearing our employees and that we're taking into account what they actually want? Yeah, no, this is where I like to talk about all the touch points. How are you really engaging with your employees to understand what it is that your benefits should be really, again, telling about your people and culture? How often are you checking in? Do you have open door hours to just say, like, I, I want to hear back on the benefits, what's going good, what's what's not going good for you, um, or not what's what what should we do? What should we be looking at? So uh, there's multiple ways of doing it. I think of even like a Slack outside of email, our internal communication system, being able to shoot over a quick message because, you know, in live time, we want to know when you're at the doctor's office, we want to know in real life time, go ahead and send us over a message if there's some feedback before you forget 
versus at the end of the year when it's time to do open enrollments and the plans are already set in place. So it's really important to think about the timeline of when you're trying to engage the employees to make sure that the plan is, it is what it is for them. And do you think that if employees have the right benefits, if they have access to the right benefits that are going to make an impact on their family or their life or their themselves, do you think that it has an impact on the way that they show up at the workplace? I, I believe it has an impact in a sense that you have to look at it holistically. And it's really, again, how do you communicate that those benefits are there for you? You can have the best benefits, but if your people do not know what the benefits are, it's not going to make them stay. So you have to really find these creative ways to let them know that they are being considered. This is all part of the perks of being with XYZ employer, right? Um, we're going to take care of you on this. Or even if it's something small, like we have toothbrushes in the bathroom because someone asked for it before. These are the little things because as they use their voice and once you respond, then that, those are telling signs of we're probably going to be able to keep this person here because their voice has been heard. So you really, it's one aspect to keep a person there. The other is leadership. And again, that's piece of how you're communicating, how we're taking care of you. You said in there, you know, something about being creative about the benefits that you offer. And I think that's an important piece. I just want to touch on that a little bit more because our, our workforce today is is very diverse, right? We yeah. have lots of different generations. We have millennials mm -hmm. and Gen X and boomers and wherever it is that me and you fall within there. I don't even know some days. Right, right. <laughs> how how can employers be, you know, creative about offering benefits that really meet the needs of everybody? Mm. You know, it's really just stepping back, rolling up your sleeves and knowing, okay, can we understand our population? Who do we have here? What are the demographics and how can we break it down? Because you're right, we have a ton of folks that are in the sandwich generation where child care and elder care is very important at this time. Um, or at the same time, we have students going off to college. Like now that's a big, okay, how do we navigate this? So it's really important to understand your age demographics and your population at your employer or organization, and then peel away what is important here. So that way we can look at the bigger picture on what do we offer for benefits. So you wanna start with the objective um, and that objective is coming from understanding your population. Yeah, I think that makes total sense. You know, one company might might offer, you know, a benefit that isn't relevant to to another. So um, I think that's a really good insight. What about mm -hmm. financial wellness benefits? What are you hearing about that today? Yeah, so I'm hearing a lot around the space, Robin. It's, I mean, it's left and right. Financial wellness is uh, the new just plug where everyone's fl flooding to how do we put more education in front of the employee behind uh, financial wellness. And really a lot of that is coming from student loans, mm -hmm. estate planning, what do we even do? How, what is this even about? Uh, retirement. Uh, so really just understanding, um, even, even if you're up for bonuses or stock options, what does that look like? What does that even mean? And again, how are you educating your employees or keeping them in front of professionals so that they feel confident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think education is such a big piece here, you know, and being able to provide this sort of comprehensive approach where people have access to all of the tools that they need across all of these different benefits. Uh, I think yeah. that's such an important. It, it's really important. And you know what another thing is, is that everyone is I mean, everyone's busy, right? So it's like, well, great, we have all of this. How do we get them to attend or what's the time? So I think that's another place where we're really sitting to say, how do you get the education to everyone? Um, and I really love the idea of a benefits flex day where, you know, some companies, they literally will give you time off. So for example, at USI, we have USI gives back. So we get that day where we specifically get to go um, help and volunteer, maybe possibly with someone's organization that you're working with, or there's a big cause happening in the office. 
And so it's just, it's just a known thing. We, we all take the day off to go do this. So what I would love to see and what I, I feel is successful with companies that are doing it is putting in a benefits flex day. And it's these days where it's really targeted at, hey, have you scheduled your doctor appointments? Have you done the things you need to do? Just kind of take the day to run these type of errands or we're using benefits flex day. So everyone, no one's expected to be checking email. Um, so you can sit here and learn from our financial planner or hear about real estate or hear about estate planning. or So it's really set up as a day to really tap into your benefits. I love that idea. I love that idea. I hope, here's my hope, okay, that one day you and I are going to be sitting here doing this again, celebrating National Flex Benefits Day, because I think that this is something right? everybody could, could start tomorrow, right? It's easy. Right. Right now on employee national national employee benefit day. It's it just why why not? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So as my last question and to wrap up a little bit today, mm -hmm. you know, it's National Employee Benefits Day, like we said. So what would be the message that you would want to share with employers about the importance of really getting the right benefits into the right hands of the right people? Mm -hmm. The message is simple. What is your people and culture experience at your organization? And how do you use your benefits to tell that story and really enhance what you are there for when we're talking about people and culture? Well said. Well said. Very good. Benefits, people, and culture. That's it. <laughs> it all comes together. That's great. It's perfect. I love it. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me today. I can't think of anybody else I would rather be hanging out with today. Oh, Robin, so sweet. No, thank you. And I, every time we get to hang out, I'm, I'm excited. So whenever you call, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I love that. I love that.